Hello everybody. This is uh, Bruce White with Sterling Systems and we're going to do a BLK360 Generation 2 box opening. It just arrived in, uh, in UPS today and I'm dying to get it out so we're just going to do a quick video. I have a little bit different background today so hope you enjoy the lake. But this is how the BLK360 ships. And as we open it up, you'll see basically it's the B same case, uh, carrying case as the BLK to go. Um, and then what we have is we have the quick guides in all the different languages and essentially the manual on USB. So as we open up the case underneath the main foam, is kind of everything else so we've got the charger i love this new charger and uh, a little bit of an advertisement and uh, safety information and then here is what we have um, i could open them up but it's just basically cords for the charger and and that's the box so let's close that set it aside and take a look at the BLK 360 Generation 2 itself. <laughs> that is really small. The first one, Gen 1, was small. This is incredibly small. Um, so we've got the different cameras right here. We've got our power button and uh, essentially starting and, and stopping scans and then the battery the battery is a redefine um i gotta take off the, the little sticky there um it's different than generation one so the good news is they give them three of them with the unit so we'll put that back in and then lock it and uh i mean basically that's it it's awful pretty and then with the batteries you just drop them right into the charger and then can charge up to four batteries all at one time we've got a cleaning cloth and some a little card with your serial number and so forth on it and then we've got the all-important USB-C data transfer cable so that will plug in right here and we can transfer the data from this unit into the computer um, particularly if we're just doing push button we can also run and start, stop, look at the data with Field 360 running on a phone or tablet or any iOS or Android device. So um, with Field 360, the scans will pop in. We can actually virtually complete all the registration. Um, pretty happens pretty automatically anyway. So if we look at some of the features of the BLK360 version two, um, this little guy can do a scan in as little as 20 seconds. Uh, it has now five bracket HDR photos, so very high quality. Um, essentially it's five bracket HDR that's on the RTC360. It does have, and I can't believe that they put this in there, but the VIZ system, which also comes from the RTC360, and that stands for um, Visual Inertial System. And what that allows us to do is say, uh, we, we set up, we do a scan here, we pick it up, move it to the next scan location. The moment we set it down, it's pretty much already registered. It knows the relational change um, between the first and the second setup. And it does really a good job of that. It does 630 or 680,000 points per second now. It's much faster than Gen 1. Uh, it is 20% smaller and 20% lighter. So um, the distance has changed a little bit. It's 45 meters um, to, which is approximately 150 feet and it has six times the storage of gen one so they've just upgraded pretty much everything on it you'll also see that it's an enclosed mirror now so your uh, reflectoring mirror will not get 
all uh, grimy with fingerprints and so forth and it that also means that it will handle the rain and snow much better than Gen 1 did uh, and that's pretty much it um, that's what comes with the scanner itself and then we have some accessories that we can add in um, the two that I generally like to do as you can see that's what I bought for myself is this is a BLK adapter on the bottom is a one quarter inch thread female thread so that'll go it's meant to go on a camera tripod so there's great camera tripods that can get up pretty high they can also telescope etc you just stick that where it would screw in to the bottom of the camera normally that's the same fitting and that will allow the BLK 360 um, actually Gen 1 or Gen 2 to go right on the top it's a pretty inexpensive adapter I highly recommend it and then what we have is the engineering creation of the optional tripod um, there's things about this tripod that I really like and some things that I don't like so much I love the engineering it makes it um, really really easy to uh, travel with so this just goes upside down like this that gives us the BLK 360 adapter and then essentially we just open it up they've improved these um, I guess locking rings a little bit better I do like those better than the Gen 1. And there we go. So now we have a nice little tripod here for the unit. The only thing I don't like about it really is the height. If we're in an office building and we have a bunch of cubes, it, it's not going to go over the, the cubes and, and we want it much higher. So most of the time that I can, I will bring a camera tripod with me. I like to have access to both types of tripods. So <clears throat> with that, uh, I'll wrap it up and, I, and I'm gonna go test it out a bit. Uh, I'm gonna compare it against uh, specifically time against the BLK to go. And that'll be in an upcoming video. But if you have any questions, comments, you wanna get one, give me a call. Uh, I'll put on all my contact information um, underneath in the, in the comment section. Um, just let me know. Thanks. Have a great day.